this is what I've got so far right here. So from nurse maya tv and we back and we better so y'all y'all i'm still rocking the messed up frizzy ponytail and the, the half behind straightened hair i'm still rocking it um but so i have orders that needs to pack so that's going to be what this video is about i'm just going to show y'all how i pack and ship my orders so this past weekend i had another big weekend with a huge influx of orders so um you get to see me pack and ship those orders so i've actually already started so let me just show y'all don't this is what i've got so far right my orders here are from friday I think mainly majority of these orders are from friday and i think saturday um i have a couple order i have one two three four five six seven orders on the table plus i got like 10 or 15 more orders today is wednesday so the 10 or 15 more orders that are in the queue that i haven't even printed the packing ships for are from tuesday wednesday and third like tuesday well today's wednesday so are from the rest from monday that i didn't print tuesday which was yesterday and today. Um, so I think it's like 10 or 15. I don't even know. I don't even know. I have, right now, what I do know, all I know is I have 45 orders in my Shopify that's waiting to be fulfilled. So these that I just showed y'all are a part of the 45 orders. I just have to pay for shipping labels for them. So it's about four o'clock. Um, you may or may not know the post office closes at six. So. I have these orders on the table. I have butters for some of these orders that I don't have. Um, Y'all, when I do my samples, I constantly sell samples. I never like put in a quantity for my samples. So I sold so many vanilla velvet samples. I only had like 10 or 12 vanilla velvet samples. I think I sold like 15, 16. So I have to make some more vanilla velvet samples and um, I just can never keep vanilla velvet on the shelf ever. Um, honestly, at this point, nothing. I can I can't keep anything on the shelf. I need to figure out how to better plan my inventory. And um, I think maybe it's time for me to get another mixer and have two things mixing at once because at this point, I'm that overwhelming feeling. It's it, it's it's coming again. Okay, and so. I want to get as many of these orders out as possible and then I'm going to I usually never take make a post office run two days in a row but I want to have all these orders that are in my queue packed up and shipped out by tomorrow all 45 so I think that's maybe like there might be like 15 orders down there on the floor um 15 maybe 20 orders those definitely are going out today, and um, I have other orders that need to be packed. But I, a lot of the people who order vanilla velvet, especially vanilla velvet samples, they're just going to have to wait until tomorrow because tonight I'm going to make some vanilla velvet. But it takes me a while. Um, if I try to mix up some vanilla velvet right now for these orders, I'm going to be rushing to get things out. So, I'm just going to... I don't even know, y'all. I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I don't even know, y'all. I don't even know. I don't even know. I, I just want to catch up on these orders so then this weekend I can make a bunch of butters and keep making butters and keep making butters because the butters are not lasting no more. They're not lasting. I was going from making only like five or six at a time to 10 and 12 at a time. So now I think I need to make like 20 at a time and that would require me to make a whole mixer full. So I need more than one mixer at this point because I don't think my, uh, me and Trina, that's the name of my mixer. Me and Trina, Trina just, she, she, she getting overworked and I need somebody cause Trina's starting to slack. She, she's the only one mixer. She can't, she can't do all that I need her to do. I don't want her to overheat. 
So I'm gonna show y'all real quick. I'm just rambling. I'm sorry. I'm gonna show y'all how I package it my orders. Actually, I might have to show y'all tomorrow because I'm gonna just pack up these orders real quick. I only got an hour and a half or two hours before the post office closed. Pack up what I do have available and get these shipping numbers on them and get them done for because mm -mm. I've been working at it. Okay, I got a wedding. My wedding is in July. Trying to get rid of all of this. Trying to be summertime fine. What are you feeling? So right now I'm just um, buying the shipping orders. I mean, what am I doing? I'm buying the shipping label. The packages that I've already packed up. So if you have not seen how I do this process, um, it's in my productive vlog, like productive work vlog or something like that. I'll link it, it'll be up here in the ribbon. But I use Pirate Ship to ship my orders. Um, and it's cheaper than the Shopify ship because Shopify does give you a discount on your shipping but the discount that pirate ship uses is a little bit better oh lord so i like pirate ship but sometimes pirate ship be chipping tripping all right y'all so i like to print my packing slips from my um from shopify i print the packing slips from shopify and then i lay the packing slips out and then I put the whatever they order on top of the packing slip. So, for example, this person, she ordered a lemon spearmint body scrub and a vanilla velvet um, body trio. So then uh, this person, she ordered a bunch of stuff, which I'm still getting, like, the Mary Jane butter. I'm still whipping up that one right now. And then I just got to put the lip kit together, and I got to make a cotton candy scrub, which are really simple, quick, and easy to do. Um... So yeah, I'll show y'all probably how I pack up. I'll probably show y'all about three, four, or five different orders. I'm not going to pack up all of these on camera. And then also I go through, because if y'all seen in my last video, I do have my postcards for my returning customers. So um, I go through and I just check to see who's a returning customer. And then just go ahead and put their postcard on top of that. Um, on top of that packing slip just so i can already have that together i don't have to do that while i'm packing because when i'm packing it's a whole i just it's a swift movement and then over here in my little corner area um i have just the things that i need while i pack i have a marker a pen um my tape uh business cards my postcards and the other postcards and then i also have like my highlighter and stuff over here um because i highlight example this particular order she had two so it doesn't show two different vanilla velvets it'll just put two of two um here so i highlight that because there have been multiple instances where i packed up an entire order and then realized later that oops they had two instead of one so um luckily when i'm buying a pack of slips i kind of can see the base off the weights and whatever so um yeah so this is what i do so i'm gonna show y'all how i do like a small sample order then a bigger order like this one and then like a s s medium size order like the two or something like that um i have an hour to get these orders packed up y'all i'm like pushing the pedal to the metal because i had to make up all these vanilla velvet samples i had to make all of these um and all these vanilla velvets i were out i was out of so i had to make all of those so I have an hour to pack these orders and buy the shipping labels. So I'm trying to get and finish making Mary Jane body butters. So I'm trying to get all of that done as soon as possible. All right, y'all. So the first order I'm going to pack is this sample trio. So they got vanilla velvet sample trio. So basically, all I do is I usually actually have um like these bubble wrap uh, envelope type things or like these little bubble. I don't even know what to call them, but. I don't have any right now and I didn't go to the store to get any. So we're just gonna do what we got with this. So I have this, I don't even know how long this is. It's over a foot long, but um, obviously I'm not gonna use all of this, honey. We gotta make do what it does. 
so i'm just gonna i always put the um the one that they chose at the top and then the other ones just kind of fall in line just cut that up see that's why i like to have everything already together so once i start packing i can just roll pack and just do what i gotta do so i'm rolling up the um the thing i had clear tape which i like clear tape better i think it just looks more sleek and smooth but I don't have any. I just ran out yesterday, so I have to actually go to the store. I actually have about a whole bunch of mailing supplies, y'all. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, so then I'm just gonna take one piece, fold that in, like so, like that. Tape it, and may or may not do the same thing for the top. It just depends on how much I have left. And doing that, but it looks so much nicer when you have um, clear tape. It doesn't look that kind of looks ghetto. To make it look a little less ghetto, though, I will put um, I'm just put a sticker right there. So boom. So I have these six by ten bubble mailers that I use for these sample orders. So I just take the um, postcard. I put the postcard inside the envelope. I like to put the postcard uh towards this side where i close it because that's why i also put the shipping label to and i put the shipping label on top of the seal oh lord y'all can't even see on top of the seal here so um it just gives the extra security and it won't open or anything and also the lady at the post office told me that if the thing is like turned so like if i just had this in there it'll be like that and the shipping label could go on here smoothly but um it's hard for them to scan the label when there's when it's not flat like absolutely flat so um and i could risk my packages getting rejected and i know nobody wants that so i put the postcard on this side and it helps so then i also do a business card bloop right on in there and then i look at the I check out the order number for this order and I write it down on a small little sticker and then I'm going to fold up the packing slip and then I just slide the packing slip right on in the envelope as well because at first I did not put stuff in the envelope for um for the samples because they were small but i have decided that i'm going to start because i had somebody leave me a review on my website with about the samples and she and she ordered a boss man sample and so i give her the boss man i give her both of my men scents plus og that's usually what i do for the boss man samples right and she came on my website and she left a review and she was like i got i'm disappointed because i got two men scents which was weird because I ordered a woman's scent. I'm like, well, hopefully she know that she ordered boss man. And hopefully she didn't think that boss man would be a woman's scent. But, and then she was, she was just tripping y'all. So, so I put the shipping label, the packing slip in here. So people don't forget what they order because people do forget what they order. I guess. I don't know. So that's that. I'm going to close it down. And then I'll just put the sticker with the order number right here on top. So when I buy the shipping labels, I know what order number it is and how I can ship it off. Okay, y'all. So I recorded this clip while my mixer was running. Don't know what possessed me to do that. So for this particular order, um, I just, I always put my tissue paper, I fold up my tissue paper and I try to put it in the box as neatly as possible. Um, so this particular order, they got a beard kit, which comes with, the beard balm and the beard oil they got a sample trio and they got a boss man um body butter so what i was saying right here is that it's kind of weird to do it like this because my beard kits come with the comb and i don't know how to place things in there properly with the comb because the comb doesn't properly fit the way i want it to so i'm just reorganizing the products in the box to try to get everything to fit um, when you're packing your orders, you want everything to fit as snugly as possible. I try to use the smallest packaging as possible um, because you don't want your stuff just moving around 
during shipping because the more stuff moves, the better chance you have of it breaking. So um, this is the final setup that I figured out to put in this box. I'm just gonna put the trio like that and like so, just put the comb on top. Yes, lovely. So um, I'm just going, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. I'm just gonna wrap up this beer oil in some bubble wrap because um, it's glass. So, you know, don't want it breaking. Put a little sticker on it. I always uh, seal up my stuff with a sticker. Um, this isn't my typical sticker, but, you know, I think I made them out of a mistake. So, you know, I always use the things the best way I can. So that's my setup. It doesn't move. It does, it's not going to move. It's not going to shake. Perfect. That's how I love my packages to be. I hate extra space. All right. So I'm just adding the shred paper because you need shred paper, my business card and my postcard. And I'm just folding up the tissue paper and I want it to be one nice, neat little package. So um, I take my old postcards and I just stuff the ends down so it can be as smooth and sleek and as possible because I want it to be like a little gift when you open it and then I just seal it off with a little sticker. I look at the order number, I write the order number in the corner of the box. I'm gonna fold the packing slip up and I'm gonna put the packing slip in the box. I'm gonna close up the box. Then I'm gonna seal the box off with a piece of tape and then I'm gonna put a sticker on top of the tape. And then that should be the end of this noisy behind clip i don't even know what i'm talking about right here <laughs> all right so my single orders are the easiest orders to pack i honestly love packing the single orders most times um so this person she just got or he just got i don't even know um a mary jane body butter this is one of my cbd collection body butters literally all i have to do I'm gonna wrap it in some bubble wrap, even though it is going into a bubble mailer. Uh, I see what they be doing with these packages. I seen this man yesterday when I dropped off stuff at the post office. Literally, it's like he was purposely slamming these packages down. And I was just like, not my packages in front of my face, but it was somebody else's packages. And I was shook, shook to the core. So, um, and then I've had somebody email me before telling me that her body butter was damaged. Like the, 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 thing was dented in and I was like well unfortunately there isn't anything that I can do um y'all if you purchase shipping and you purchase the priority mail shipping and it comes with a hundred dollar insurance then um I always suggest doing that um but most people don't really want to pay for shipping people don't you know know even how much shipping really cost like understand like shipping is expensive so even if it's free to y'all, somebody's paying for it. So I just wrapped it up in some bubble mailer, I mean some bubble wrap. Um, and then I have my lovely custom bubble mailers, if you can even see that. I know the light's probably kind of bright. But I have my lovely custom bubble mailers. And I feel like this is all the magic for this single orders now. So I'm just going to throw in, or not throw in, but put in my flyer. Um, just put it in there. Kind of strategically, I'll try to figure out which way they might open it, because I want you to see the thank you first. So I put that in there, and then I put the butter in like that on top. I want right there, because like I said, I'm trying to keep this side flat, so when I put my shipping label on there, it's scannable and y'all get y'all stuff. I just throw a thank you, um, a business card in there. Take the packing slip. And remember the order number. And I just throw the packing slip in there so people remember. This is all you got, baby. This is all you got. So if you thought to order more, you didn't. This is all you paid for. And I take my marker. And I write on like the flattest piece or I think I'm gonna put the um, shipping label. I just 
put the order number on there and that's it that's all i gotta do for my single orders those are so easy so simple don't even have to really even do any work so here's another decent size order so this person got the og body butter the radiant face scrub and the um african black soap so y'all i gotta wipe off this african black foot top maybe from when i was doing it my hands are probably a little had some soap on it and i just don't want it to be all like weird and gritty so i'm just gonna wipe it off because it's kind of i don't know it feels weird like maybe some soap was up from my hands or something i'm gonna just wipe that off and I'm going to wipe off this butter because it's kind of, this one has been actually sitting probably for a little over a week now. So it probably accumulated a little dust. Usually my butters don't sit over a week because they don't last. They go off the shelf before. So I have my small box. These boxes, I want to say are five by, yeah, I don't even know. Six by four by three, I think. I don't know. I am not sure at all. So I just put together my box, so then I just fold it into a third, like one, yeah, hot dog style, I don't even know, like that, and it goes perfectly into the box, and I do it like that, so then I just place it in the box, and they're the perfect height and size and everything for these boxes. And I have it in the box, then I just take scrub right take the OG and the soap fits just like that so easy so easy to do um I can get I have some packet peanut and this is just a life hack y'all I don't throw away like when I get orders and I get my inventory in the mail and they come with the packing peanuts and stuff I don't throw the peanuts away they go right here in y'all order. We we reuse, reduce, reuse, and recycle. So I just kind of put a little bit just around here, <laughs> just so those um, won't slide around in the shipping process or whatever. So it won't slide around. That's all. Okay. The less you slide around, the less damage. I always remember that. So then I'm gonna add some shred paper. Put my business card right here on top. Put my flyer right on top of that. It fits in there perfectly and it helps give it a smooth finish. Then I'm just gonna fold, y'all, look, perfect. I even folded it perfectly. I don't even have to really push anything down, but I'm gonna do it. Put the slide. And then it needs to be pushed down and tucked in. So that. Bada bam, bada bing. And then I'm gonna take my sticker. I have like 4,000 of these stickers though. And seal it off. Seal that bad boy off. Order number on top. Pack and slip on top. Close it down. Taper up. Just so we, I don't know, just to be sure nobody knows in the box, okay? And boom. That is it. Okay, so this one is a larger order. So I have my larger boxes. Um, Most of my big orders all fit in this box. Sometimes I do get a really, really large order that has to go into a, a bigger, bigger box. But for the most part, they fit. So hopefully we can get this one to fit as well. So for my big boxes, I think this is a size 9 by 5 by 3. I think. Don't fold me, but, or not by six by three. One of the, one of the two, who you knows? So, for this one, I'm going to fold my tissue paper in the half. There's the tissue paper. All right, so let's run down everything she got. So she got a Naughty With Nice lip kit. So I have to build my little lip kit. So I have, this is that ugly green that I was telling you about in my last video that I was trying to incorporate into my brand. Um, I still have some of these packages left. Once these are gone, they're gone, but I'm not gonna waste. Ow. So, um, so the Naughty But Nice Lip Kit comes with the Naked Lip Gloss. I make these glosses myself. The, 
vanilla coconut milk lip balm. I make the balms myself. I make everything myself, y'all. I don't even know why I'm saying it. And um, a cinnamon lip scrub. So the, the lip scrubs are random. It's whatever I have on hand. So she got a cinnamon lip scrub, a watermelon lip scrub, and three in a strawberry lip scrub. So it's a perfect lip kit. You can scrub, moisturize, and gloss your lips all in one. So boom, just like that. So I'm just gonna put a label on that. So it's a naughty but nice lip scrub label. So boom, put that there, a lip kit. So that's the naughty but nice lip kit. So she got that. So she got a Mary Jane body butter. She got a Scooby Snacks body butter. Both of these are part of my CBD collection. Um, she got a Leche de Coco body butter, AKA coconut milk. Um, she got a Radiance face scrub. Will it fit? Oh, it ain't a fit. Um, she has a African black soap. They don't hit that way, so we got to do it do that way. Um, she got a perfectionist moisturizer, um, <laughs> a cotton candy lip scrub, and then she got a green face exfoliating pad. One second, let's go get that. So this is the green exfoliating pad that she got. So I'm just gonna to make this look better. So I'm gonna put the exfoliating pad in there. And if you do it like this, it'll go down. So that gives it a little, and it goes down, okay? So let me wrap up her exfoliated, her face moisturizer because y'all, you don't want stuff breaking, right? All right, All right so I have the, the face uh, moisturizer nice and wrapped up. And um, so yeah, I'm just gonna kinda fold this in there it in there nicely so yeah like i said my um big orders usually can fit so i'm gonna just kind of place this in here however it fits and then put this on top and it fits it fits just perfectly so i'm just gonna run through my her package so just make sure i got everything she got one two three four five six seven eight nine things one two three four five six seven eight nine things so that's right. So a little shred paper on the top. Just to give it make it a little bit more decorative, give it a little bit more pizzazz, make it a gift. Um, of course, the gift the business card. I need you to know all my social media handles, follow me on everything. And thank you. So then for this one, I just kind of fold it like this because the tissue paper isn't gonna meet for me to um tape it together. So I'm trying to fold it like that. And then I still tuck it. I do still tuck it. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be like that. So, I mean, you just see it. Oh, it's nice, just open it. And you know, it is what it is. Of course, I'm going to write the order number. Alright, y'all. So I got majority of these orders packed up. All my orders are packed up. Um, I had some over here. I already started kind of mailing, um, putting shipping labels on them. But so essentially, all I do once my orders are packed up is I print out my shipping labels and um, I go through because I put the order number on the box and I go through and I check to see. Um, I check, you know, who or what name goes to what order number because unfortunately, Pirate Ship, which is the thing that the company that I use to do my shipping labels, they do not um, have the order number on the box. I mean, on the shipping label, so I have to go through and actually figure it out, which is um, uh, it's error prone because it's human error. But 
I haven't made a mistake yet and I'm 500 orders in. So we're gonna keep it pushing away like this and until we find a better way, this is the way. For my small boxes, these size boxes, these fit the custom mailing that I purchased. Um, the big boxes don't. So for my big boxes, um, so then for my big boxes, they're just in a regular white poly mailer like this. Um, they don't have any customized packaging or anything like that on there. So I just take the thing, I look up the order number, make sure. I try to keep everything in order that I paid for it because if I do it like that, then um, I don't have to worry about, you know, finding it. So 14.89 Yolanda. And then I just put it in the mailer. Um, I, try to, I put it face up from the back because I feel like, I don't know, I've never worked in the post office, but I feel like the post office people are always gonna keep the shipping label side up. So I don't know. Just put it in my bubble mailer or my poly mailer. Take that off. Close it tightly. Okay, and then I put the shipping label on top of like an area where you can open it. So it can, it help, it's another layer of like tape that seals the shipping label on there. The, there is the, where it opens that right there. And I put the shipping label on top of that. And that's that. So y'all, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if there's anything you want to see um, next out of me. Otherwise, I will catch you in my next video. Bye.